welcome to the Sun River Angler's Fly Tying Corner for this month. We're going to tie a Calabatus Biot Nymph. This is a pattern I really like to use on a number of our local lakes to imitate the nymph stage of the Calabatus Mayfly. It's probably the most important um, insect that we imitate during most of June, July, August, and even into September uh, until frosts arrive in our area. This pattern does a really good job of imitating the uh, mayfly nymph and it is one of the ones that I use routinely. So let's go through the materials for this fly. For the hook, we're going to use a Daiichi 1260 in size 14 or 16. For thread, we're going to use Danville's Tobacco Brown in 6 odd. I like to weight my nymph slightly, and so I'm going to use about 5 or 6 wraps of .015 lead wire. For the tail, we're going to use a few fibers of a natural lemon wood duck. For the abdomen, I'm going to use a biot, but I like to use the longer um, trailing edge of a turkey feather, wing feather, dyed in light olive. And we're going to rib that biot with some bronze wire in fine to give it a little bit of strength and durability so it won't break in trout teeth. For the wing case, I like to use the bronze fibers in a peacock eye, so those sections just above that blue area. It gives it a real nice coloration for a Calabatus nymph. For the thorax, I'm going to use a dubbing blend of about 25% Calabatus UV and about 75% olive that I'll mix in a, a coffee grinder blender. And lastly, for the legs, I'm going to use that same lemon wood duck feather um, to create legs on either side of the thorax. I'm going to begin this fly by tying on about five or six wraps of 0.015 lead wire and I'll snug that up tight. This needs to cover the area of the thorax and we'll clip off those loose ends. From here I'm going to tie on my thread right in front of and making sure I reserve enough room for the head. I'm going to grab that little tag end of lead wire and I'll tie right over this, lay, this lead and snug it up tight. That thread helps seat the lead and make sure that it's going to stay right where I want it to. Next, I've clipped off a few fibers of lemon wood duck for the tail. And I'm going to tie those on about one and a quarter to one and a half times the length of the gape of the hook. That's a good um, average length for a nymph tail and we'll clip off the excess. I tied this on right behind that lead wire and snugged it up to begin to build a little bit of a, a uh, base for that hump between the abdomen and the wire. Next, I'm going to tie in my bronze wire and we'll set that aside just for a moment. And I've clipped off one biot off that turkey. And I want to tie this in with the opaque side forward and the translucent side back. And the first wrap that I take with this, it will flip and I'll have the opaque side or the ridge side facing backwards and the translucent side facing forward. And that'll give me that nice segmented effect as I tie forward with this material. And you can see those segments really beginning to nicely appear. 
and I tie this off with a real soft wrap. Don't pinch it too hard or you'll cut that biot with your thread and you'll have to uh, retie on a new one. So wind that off over the, the biot. And then I move straight into using the bronze wire and I'm going to rib each segment of this biot with the bronze wire. And you see the the depth of color this is adding to the fly. You can change wire colors to match the individual colors of a calabatus on your lake. I sometimes use copper or a little more olive, but in this case I'm using a bronze wire to make it a little uh, darker colored. Next I've clipped off my peacock eye, that bronze color I showed you earlier, and I've tied this in right at the thorax and I'm going to use that feather to fold over and make the wing case. Now I'll take my blended dubbing and I'm going to spin just a skosh, not too much, onto the hook. I'll capture a few fibers and then I'm going to spin this around the thread creating a yarn and I'll wind that once backward to cover the uh, thorax area and then once forward and right up to the head position. And I can move to capture the peacock and I'll wind that right into that lead wire, right tightly against that lead wire and cover that up with thread and clip off the excess. And we'll wind over the butts. So you can see that nice wing case that that peacock has has formed. So next I'm going to take some lemon wood duck and I've clipped off about that much off the feather. And I'm going to manually split this wood duck into two legs that look a lot like that. And we'll position that on the hook. We'll position it. I'll change hands. And I'm going to tie this right into that lead wire bump with both sides. You can tie this on one side and, and then tie on the other, but I generally tie both sides together. It takes a little bit of materials control to do that. And we'll push down and adjust this a little bit and then tie off the butts and clean up that head a little bit. and then I'll drop straight into a whip finish and I'll whip finish the head of this fly. And snug that up tight. And clip off the excess. Next I'm going to use a product called Clear Cure Goo Hydro. This is a glue-like substance that I can paint onto the top of the thorax and then seal with a UV light. It cures with UV light rays and makes an excellent shellback or wing case on a nymph. So I'm going to apply the clear cure goo to the thorax area or to the wing case right over that peacock feather and I'll coat it with a light coat. And then I'll use my UV light to cure this material and solidify it on the wing case. So that's your Calabatus Biot Nymph. It's an excellent pattern. I hope you will give this one a try. I fish it a lot during the midsummer calabatus hatches, which are prolific in our area. 
So that's your Sun River Anglers fly tying corner for this month. I hope you've enjoyed this short video and thanks for watching.